Hi there and welcome to another video from ozonetech.com. My name is Perry Graham and today I'm going to show you how to send faxes through mail merge. Anything special? I just need my Microsoft applications or other apps that can generate email. No fax software, no fax drivers, no print fax, nothing. It's easy to do. Anybody who knows how to do mail merge can do it without any additional training. But I do need a low-cost fax to email account from a service such as Baby. Let's see how it works. For this demo, I'm using Excel as my data source, but it could be anything that works for you um, that works in a mail merge application. Notice these are real fax numbers, real fax machines out there in the world. The lowest one is my actual fax number, which I imported to Babytel, and they host it for me. Lastly, notice that in this last column, email of fax, I have created a formula that simply appends the ampersand fax.babytel.net to the fax number, which creates a fax to email address. Now we can look at Microsoft Word. This is my source of the document I'm going to use. It's a standard mail merge document, nothing special. I've already attached it to the Excel spreadsheet as the data source and inserted some field names. Let's take a look at some of the data in the mail merge itself. Here's my spreadsheet records. I've got all three, I selected them all, and you can see the same records that I had in the spreadsheet. There's the fax numbers and the email to fax field. The next step is to click Finish and Merge and send to email. I select the two addresses of the email to fax field that I created in my spreadsheet. And I fill in some meaningful subject line. Once I click OK, the merge will start. And that's it. Word actually flashes the records as they go through the mail merge process, but we don't capture them with the screen. When we go to Outlook, which is what I'm using for the send mail process, within a few minutes I get some responses back. These three are actual notifications from the Babytel service telling me the status of the fax that I sent. And since I'm actually sending faxes to myself, I get notifications of the inbound fax. So I sent a fax to myself and received them in my inbox. Let's take a look at one of the notifications. This is a notification from Babytel service. I can customize this to some degree, but it tells me what the status of my send was for this particular instance how many pages were sent, where I sent them, etc. Let's take a look at one of the faxes that I sent. Here's the image that each of the individual res the recipients would have received. You can see that the information at the top left is customized according to the mail merge record itself. And that's all there is to it. I can keep my own fax number if I want or get a new one. I don't need fax servers, fax software. I don't need phone lines. I can have as many output as I want. I just need this Babytel email to fax service. I can integrate this with databases, CRM, all kinds of ways you can manage this. 